in the world of gaming, there are a few keywords that you should know. Now, as an added bonus, knowing these terms will give you some street cred in the game development world. Here's what our game will end up looking like towards the end of the course. However, let's break it down and see some of these elements and what they are called. At the top, you have what is known as HUD, or Heads Up Display. This is usually the layer that sits at the top of every game and it contains information like health, lives left, points, ammunition, weapons, menu options, sound control, time, game progression, or level information. Node. A node is a fundamental building block of a scene within SpriteKit. Almost everything you see on a screen within a SpriteKit game is made up of a node. You add your nodes to a scene. Scene. A scene represents an area of content on the screen. It is also responsible for animating and rendering the display of individual nodes in a scene. For example, in our game, we have a title scene and a gameplay scene. You could have several different levels in a game which could result in individual scenes for each level. Physics, a set of APIs that mimics the physics of the real world in the game world. For example, gravity. And if you enable gravity, then what happens when an object or node falls towards what looks like the ground in your game? Sprite or texture is basically an image. Particle systems is a technique to render a large amount of small sprites to create an effect like explosion, fire, or rain, or any number of visual effects which would be otherwise hard to create.